Hey, 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 what's up, happy people? Say hey, Sebastian. What's up, guys? It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. We've been frantically packing. What are you most excited for? I wanna see an elephant. I, I just wanna see an elephant. <laughs> hey, I wanna see a lion. If you were going to Africa right now, what would you most wanna see? And I'm like so excited to hunt the rhino with a tranquilizer gun from a helicopter. I think that's gonna be probably the coolest thing in the entire world. But we've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Let's go! Well, uh, it is 323. We've made it about 25 miles and I have a flat tire. Yes, sir. That would be considered a flat tire. Is it going down? Yeah. Rather quickly, actually. Hey, anytime you're doing a dually, you've got to have this little extension like that. And that's going to allow you to loosen your tires. Always loosen your tire while it's still got weight on it. You guys, this is not how I planned on starting my Africa trip. But you know what? You got to take the good with the bad. It is 348. We lost about 20 minutes. Here's the deal. I'm supposed to go to Bass Pro and pick up a quiver for my bow. We 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 have to cut it close at all times. We left like way early and we're still cutting it close. I guess it's just part of our DNA. There's Bass Pro. Let me show you what I just got. I got that Trophy Ridge five spot quiver and uh, we'd be good. <laughs> now it's 502, heading to Miami International Airport. Continue on to State Road 112 West. This one's heavy. Yeah. I've just come to the realization we have to take a lot. It doesn't matter if it's a two day trip or a two month trip. What are you most excited to go see? Draft. You want to see a draft? In lion. Lion? What do you want to see? Um, crocodile. A oh, crocodile? <laughs> All right, you guys, it is 9.37 p.m. We're in Miami at Miami, Miami International Airport. We're on Qatari Airlines going from Miami to Doha, Qatar. The whole family's here getting ready to take off. It's going to be about a 14-hour flight, and here we go. Honey. There you go. So I've been watching a few good men and I'm getting really tired. Probably because I just took three Advil PM. Had a great meal, had like roasted monkfish. So I just leaned my seat back and I'm gonna take a, take a nap. We'll see you guys in the morning. Holy cow. We're flying over the desert. <laughs> Can you tell me how your flight was? It was great, man. That's the <laughs> best flight I've ever been on. It wasn't that awesome. Yeah. I mean, 14 hours and... That's all I really needed, but they were bringing out all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I actually just went and got the names of the flight attendants that have been helping us because the level of service that we've received has been amazing. I want to thank Alima, Jarinha, Donabel, and Hatem. <laughs> All right, you guys, so now we're in the lounge. We're going to eat some food and then go get on our next flight. Our next flight's in about two hours. Okay, so I just got like all that loving goodness, cod, chicken, rice. Look, where do you think Sarah and the girls are? They're in the dessert line. We just had our picnic on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. Let me get a video of you with the dinosaur. Look at that. Okay, so what's your first reaction of this place? Incredible, amazing, <laughs> beautiful. All right, my man, what's your favorite video? 
Uh, that is the spear one, you know, my blue marlin. When I first yes, speared the blue yes, marlin? Yeah, that time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've been cruising around the airport. There's so many awesome fans here. I just can't say enough. The whole Qatar Airways has been amazing. This is the first class lounge we're in right now. And it's like a dream to be able to come here and experience this. What you got, you think? It's awesome, man. Look how big those engines are. That thing is massive. It's our welcoming crew. That thing is huge. Look at the bus and then look at the engine. Okay, that's crazy. And we're off. We'll leave in Doha, Qatar and the South Africa. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm <laughs> Jack. Hey, we're probably gonna be driving, wherever we're driving, probably watching the sun come up. Yep. It's like 3.30 a.m. Halfway around the world, my bro. Let's do it. Two flights. Christine, what you think, girl? Hey, you can't fly around the world any more comfortably than this. <laughs> when, you, when you show up somewhere on the other side of the world, I've never met him before in my life, but we've been talking since last September. I've always wanted to bring my, my family to South Africa, but I'm not, I'm not worried about, oh, I wanna kill this, I wanna kill that. I really, really, really wanna show the world what hunting is. Hunting is the most pure form of conservation in the world, and what hunters do for the world of wildlife is amazing. He came up and said, let's do some work with rhinos and elephants, and I was like, I just pushed all my chips into the middle of the table. I'm so excited. Now, here we are in Johannesburg, 4 a.m. and his whole team is waiting for us. <laughs> wow! Holy smokes! That's the elephant collar. This is the custom-made <laughs> elephant collar with a satellite tracking device on top. For the elephant. Can I feel how heavy it is? Yeah. Uh, wow! So we see well, that. Harrington family, welcome to uh, Dagaboy Safaris. Beautiful. <laughs> Let me go show you uh, your home for the next two weeks. We literally just traveled halfway around the world and we're here. This is Dugga Boy Safaris. Welcome, brother. Mr. Gerard. <laughs> it's a long journey. Let, let me show you, yeah. How long have you been traveling now? Oh, I don't even know. But you know what? Our flight was amazing. You were exactly where you said you were gonna be. And here we are. I'm so. so excited. All right, you guys, <laughs> let us get settled in and we'll show you all around. Okay, so like, is there a potential to see giraffes right over here? Yeah, they'll come here. Robert and Sarah, you guys can be in here. Wow, and then babe, there's, look uh, at that. There's, uh, Girls, look at that. <laughs> what is that? An elephant? What? All right, you guys. We got the bear archery equipment in full effect and we're gonna see oh. if it, I got my earring in, hold on. What she was just saying about, oh, I gotta take my earring out, that's very important. She's been target practicing a lot back home okay, and everything has to be consistent every single time. So I'm glad she remembered that. Well, I, well the second I touch it, I know. Yay. Well, not it. Dead on. Well, we got the bows all sighted in. Now we're gonna go sight in the guns. And now I have a bowler. What are we doing? <laughs> bowler. And now I have a bowler. <laughs> She's talking about her teeth, right? <laughs> you got a molar? Yep. Totally no way. way. Wow, look at that back there. All right, you guys, so I literally show up. I haven't even got my mic on yet, and I realize I did not bring this gun, okay? This is their gun. It's a Howa 308 with a Burris uh, full field 4x12 on it. If you walked into my house, you would find Howa rifles with Burris scopes. Means you got good taste in guns, okay? Yeah, well, that's one thing we have. <laughs> wow. Aren't you guys? We're all sighted in, and I'm really impressed with the suppressor, the silencer. I mean, I wish I would have been using that 
20 years ago, I wouldn't be half deaf now. Like I'm both deaf. Okay, so we just get back to camp, and the pri the chef here, he had the grill going because when he saw us with the guns, he thought we were going to get camp meat. Typically, when everyone shows up to camp, they go out and they get like a Impala or some kind of camp meat. So when we were out with the guns, he thought we were getting camp meat, so he's ready to cook while game. Well, we can't disappoint him. Let me show you what an Impala looks like. This is an Impala. This is an Impala Ram or a male Impala. There's lots of them here, and from what they say, they're delicious. So, let's go hunt. Uh, Rob, I think you should get just hold the gun and I am maybe get that yeah. ready because you might have to take a fast shot. Okay, so we're in the game right now. We just saw a diker and a handful of impala. We're just trying to find a, a good young hue or a small buck. Something that's going to be great to eat. We're just easing along, doing a little spot and stalk. And we found the remains of a female blessed buck. Unfortunately, over the past two years, hunting has come to a screeching halt here in South Africa. You know, all the people that would come here and pay to go hunting due to COVID have not been coming. Well, when the hunters are not here funding everything, poachers fill that void. And this is the remains of a poacher's weapon. Now, how would they hunt this? How would they hunt? With dogs. With dogs? Yeah, and snares. They put up snares and they run dogs to the, with the animals with dogs to the snares. Really? Yeah, and they also have spears, so if the, uh, if the dogs uh, would corner these animals, you know, the circle around them, they'll uh, kill them with spears. Wow. Drilled him right in the shoulder. I smoked him right here. Mm. Right. It's amazing with this can. You don't hear the it boom. You don't hear a super big loud crack of the gun, but man, you could hear the bullet drill. What you call a blessed buck. Okay, so this is uh, Rob's. This is perfect camp meat. What we need. It's a management buck. You know, good meat for uh, for the camp. Uh, it's still uh, um, like uh, I have to think in Afrikaans to speak in English. <laughs> like um, well, it's, a, it's a young one. It's a young one. So that's perfect. What we needed for camp meat. A lot of times I wanted to ask you questions, but not until just shortly <laughs> did I realize what you were doing. He would be walking along and he just, and every now and then he'll, he'll kick the dirt. And I realize you're watching the wind on the ground. Yeah, because we have, the wind is going all directions this morning. But it took me a little while to figure out. <laughs> I, I would see you every now and then just kick the ground. And I'm thinking, I know there's a reason why he's doing that. <laughs> but not until just a little while ago did I figure it out. Well, good shooting, man. <laughs> Thank you very much. There you go. It was about 200 meters. He was running, and just as he went under a tree and jumped over the other, I hit him on the run. It was amazing. On the run. Yeah, he was running wow. close to 80 kilometers per hour. 
Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. it was a dust, it was basically just a dust cloud and I saw it come through, it looked like a mirage. He said, shoot, I pulled the trigger and he fell down. It was amazing. An absolute mirage. Hey, you know what I say? Yeah. It's my story, I'm gonna tell it how I want. Yeah. So uh, what we need to do is I'm gonna make you a, a nice carry bag. I'm gonna show you how to do it when you have no twine or ropes or whatever. You can just use the animal to make a nice backpack and uh, you carry it out. Uno, dos, tres! Good job. Okay. Let's go. Here. I just learned something new here, y'all. <laughs> I guess we just set them down like this, huh? Yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Easiest pie. Hold the gun. I'll tell you what. I just learned something there. That actually worked tremendously well. Hey, we're heading back to camp. We're gonna clean them up. And then we're gonna eat us some African bush meat. <laughs> and my man, didn't take us long to get on the board, huh? All righty, let's kick it. We just got back here to the house. This old Thomas. And uh, he's one of the skinners here. When people wonder, what does hunting do good? Hunting does so much good. Here in South Africa, when, when us hunters travel here and spend our money hunting, we create jobs, we infuse so much money into the local economy, and uh, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, we got it. Hey, Robert, stop doing something, man. Help the guy. You want it? <laughs> So this is Thomas. This is one of the skinners here. And obviously you know I love to clean game. So I always watch where do they make their cuts? Where do other skinners make their cuts? And this is unique. I've never seen anyone make that initial cut. He's basically coming right down the back of the ham all the way to the rear end. This is a universal language. Like, I don't speak his language, but we can sit here and clean game together and understand exactly what we're doing. That's, that's, just, that's just part of being a hunter. A lot of you would probably think, oh, the, your favorite part of the hunt is, is stalking and hunting the animal. This is honestly my favorite part of the hunt. So you can see, I use my knife and he's using his wrist, his knuckles, and his thumb and literally peeling the hide so that there's nothing on the skin whatsoever. If you smell of it and look at it, it's like a really thick, healthy antelope backstrap. Mm. See, now this is what I'm interested in right here. We just got back to the lodge. Now my favorite part. We're gonna go cook this stuff. <laughs> I cannot wait to eat it. Me too. <laughs> this is Miss Matilda and her lovely husband, Tinos. They keep this place immaculate and they make amazing food. So I'm really tickled. I told them just make this meat into something you would eat at your home. So I don't know what that is. I'm gonna watch it with you. I'm putting the meat in the pot. Okay. Yeah. He's got it all cut up, now yeah. he's got... Now we are starting to fry this meat into this fish, eh? You're gonna fry it? Yeah, then we put some onion. Yeah, man, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Look at that smile. <laughs> he and his wife have been married for like 22 years. They work together. They've been all over this region working on river boats. And now they like take care of the situation. And I just feel at home when I'm here. Okay. We are putting some onions now. It smells so good. Yeah, then we fry the onions. It's a uh, mushroom. A little bit of salt. Okay, we are putting some cream. Okay. 
try a little bit. We're going to put some bully sauce in our Let me get some tomato sauce. Yes, we're yeah. yeah. putting some tomatoes for bully right. sauce. You see now? Then we're yeah. done. Nice. Yes, now we're done. We just like yeah. a tomato we sauce? Put, yeah, we used to put uh, one of this one for the cream. Oh yeah, yes. fresh cream yes. and tomato. And tomato Woo! and bright spice as well. A little bit of aromatic salt. So, you know, when we left our home in Florida yes. and headed here, yes. I knew we were going to be hunting. Yeah. Our primary focus is elephants and rhinos. We're going to be putting satellite tracking devices on them, which is going to help tremendously with the conservation eff effort they've got going on. But what I look forward to more than anything are the people. Just like this, man. Coming down here, making new friends, learning about new food, hunting new animals. It's the entire experience is what I'm all about. So if you make your plate, in South Africa we say dish up. Dish, dish up. up? That means help yourself, dish up. Yeah. Good deal, well dish up. What is this? Yes, absolutely. There's something about being connected to your food. Look at that. Is this the uh, West Park? Yeah. Dear yeah, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the food and family. Thank you for this wonderful day. I pray for all the stuff you made and um, this food will bless us to everybody in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> hey, oh, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's mm. You like it? That's really good. I want to try a piece of meat. It's deer. It's deer. I'm telling you, it's deer. This is one of the most unique videos I've ever done. We started off in our driveway, packing up. We get a flat tire. We get to the airport. My PCR test isn't ready. Then we get on the most luxurious flight ever, fly here, and then y'all are waiting at 4 a.m. at the airport. We get here and then we're able to go out and hunt straight away. If you guys want to know more about Doug -a Boy Safaris, there will be links in the description below. This isn't about hunting. This is about life. We came here for the elephants and the rhinos and to really speak about conservation. But the whole experience is really, really special. And you made me so comfortable that I was able to bring my entire family. And for that, I want to say thank you. You have a wonderful team, a wonderful staff, and a wonderful building. We feel at home here. And I mean, there's nothing else I can say other than thank you very, very much. Yes. Thank, no, you. thank you guys for being here. All right, you guys. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is just the beginning. I don't even know what we're going to do next, but I'm sure it's going to be fun. For that, I say take care, God bless, and we are... God.